Y'all play. Did I play? Not in my business. for the little bubble party that we did last month, which was great, lots of fun. And then Thursday, um, probably go to another library for the stay and play. Um, so that way, again, the kids can just like get out, play, um, be around other kids, socialize, all that good stuff. Friday, I'm just gonna kind of play it by ear. I don't really have anything planned for Friday or Saturday, to be honest. And then Sunday, of course, we have church. So it's gonna be, if everything goes the way that I've planned, it is going to be somewhat of a light week. If you didn't watch the last vlog or forgot, whatever, Jordan caught a fever, he caught a virus um, towards the end of last week. And so we pretty much um, had to cancel weekend plans and just stay home and monitor him and make sure that he was okay. He's doing better today. He actually has had no fever so far. I get, did give him a little bit of Motrin just to be on the safe side because the fever's kind of come in waves. Um, I'm probably not going to give him any more today and I'm just going to like see how he does and if he can make it pretty much all the rest of the day with no additional Motrin and through the night. We're about to pull up at Chipotle so I can cop this order. Get me some coffee. Go kick it with my mother. I haven't even told her that we're on the way yet, so let me do that. We also got to fit a workout in as well, so good luck to us with that. But welcome to this weekly vlog, and happy Monday. What is it, Mama? This is just some 
ginger, tomato, and peppers. Uh, mm -hmm. And we're gonna put some onion in there too, okay? Onion! Yeah. Onion! Uh, cause Zoe needs to get over. And then so. you want some more chicken? Let's put this here. We're gonna turn on this one, okay? So Zoe can also, so both of y'all can reach it better. Here we go. Three times, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, put it right there, no touch. Mom, I need to rinse this. Don't move, where are your hands? Put right the chair. There you go. Ah, smells good. I smell you it. You smell it? Yeah. It smells good. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Zoe, you gotta be still, baby, okay? I'm cutting the, the um, onion so we can have some onion in here. Yes, okay. so we can try. Yeah. Zoe, you okay. put the onions in there. Ready? Good job. Put them to rest. And then Zara's going to put some onions in. Sometimes the onions make your eyes cry a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Go, okay. I'm listening, daughter. So when did he finally go to sleep? He never. Well, he slept this morning, but oh, wow. I, we both fell back to sleep at like 6:30, and then at 7:30 the girls were in my face. I think we have our tablets. <laughs> they were at the foot of the bed. Mom, we have our tablets. Um, and I started. It's hot. Okay. It's a smoke. It's smoke. Yeah. Go, man. Okay, you got to mix one. it together with the onions. One, ah, two, ah, three. Ah. Okay, now let's do some garlic. Mama! Garlic? Yeah, garlic. 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 No, garlic. 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 See, this is a, a big bulb of garlic. You see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it got the this is where it grew in the ground. That's where it was in the ground. Yeah. Okay. Can I, can I touch it? Mm -hmm. See? Mama's growing some garlic in the garden too. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. My name is Garlic. Your name is Garlic? Yes. I'm wow. your garlic. Hi, Garlic. Hello, friends. A time we had per huge at my mother's. This car is driving so slow. We're doing 31. Um, it ended up being a very gorgeous, beautiful day in the neighborhood. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that we got out the house. Oh, let me cover up your face, Jordan. But yeah, we are on our way home. It is 7.05. I'm in the mood to watch Love is Blind, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I did a little bit of editing today, um, like a bunch of like short form content. Anyway, I don't know that I'm going to do much recording tonight. Um, the kids are tired. The kids, I mean the girls. <laughs> so the goal is just to get them fed, wash them up real quick, throw them in the bed. That's it. And hopefully I can get an episode of Love is Blind. I'm trying to get my husband to watch it with me. I really want him to watch this with me. I don't know why. That's, that's it. That's all we got going on. So I probably won't check in with y'all until tomorrow. Unless I got something else to say. Um, and we'll see where tomorrow takes us.
Good morning, good people. Let me make sure that I turn this off. Good morning, good people. It is, ignore my hair. It's 7.32 in the morning. The girls got up at 6.30. Yay for me. <laughs> um, I actually was up because baby Jordan for the first time in probably two weeks slept through the night and is still asleep, which is wonderful. Um, I don't think I updated y'all on his progress, but basically the doctor thought he might have had this virus called roseola. She told me what to do over the next couple of days, symptoms, things like that. So we did that. And yesterday, um, she said it can last for five days. So yesterday was the fifth day. Um, he had went a full 24 hours with no fever, with no fever reducers. Um, so I was happy about that. But then yesterday he did, last night going into yesterday, he broke out into a rash, um, like hives all over his trunk, his stomach, his back, some on his arms, a little bit on his legs and a little bit across his forehead. But like it was primarily like his neck around his ears, his stomach and his back. So the night before, I think is when the breakout started. So, cause you, he woke up and I could see that he was like, he seemed uncomfortable, but I didn't really know what he needed. He had a shirt on and so I didn't, you know, feel the bumps and stuff. So long story short, he and I ended up sleeping on the couch or I slept on the couch. Sorry y'all, it's early. I'm, I'm still trying to get my bearings, but I slept on the couch. He slept in his playpen and he fell back asleep at like, I don't know, two, three o'clock. Then I couldn't sleep. So that's how my night went the night before last. So all day yesterday, I was pretty much just treating the bumps. He didn't seem like itchy. Just. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and sit on the couch. Your food is almost ready. Um, he just seemed like irritable at times. Like maybe it itched periodically, but the doctor also said I could use hydrocortisone on him. Um, Sure. Um, so I put that on him and he was his normal happy self, dancing. He also he helped me clean up the kitchen last night, playing, just like all that. So yesterday was actually a good day. Hey, 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 hey. That was basically how the day went. We stayed home. I kept eyes on the rash. Yeah. Anyway, he slept all night last night is the point that I'm making. I swear they've been on their tablets because it was so early and I wanted them to be quiet. They've been on their tablets. No, go, go in the room. You know what? Give me everything. Cause I don't know what y'all problem is. Cause I I'm so annoyed because y'all can probably hear them screaming. Literally, it was quiet. We were all in their room. They were on their tablets. I was just chilling. I brought my pillow in there. I laid on the bed with them. We had a very nice little quiet hour. And the moment I get up and start talking to y'all and start doing stuff, here they come. It's like, Unless I'm doing, unless I'm just in their faces, just literally not doing anything that I want to do, they're going to find a way to cause chaos. It was so peaceful. And I'm, I, I low key wish that I was recording it, but it was like a peaceful, quiet, like I'm just enjoying time with my daughter's moment. But it was so chill. Right? Because I was doing nothing. I was just laying in the bed and I was talking to them. They were on their tablets. We were just vibing. It's like with kids, as soon as you just like take your attention off of them, they have to find a way to suck you in to make it about them. And it is very frustrating. You want to know why it's even more frustrating now? I'm with them 24 seven, right? With no breaks. If you've watched my previous vlogs, you've heard me say this before. So that's number one. Number two, I've been in relationships where the man was like that. And I'm not man bashing. If you don't want to hear this, then just go ahead and turn it off. But I've been in relationships like that. And I'm pretty sure other people can relate where it's just like, 
The moment that the focus isn't on that person, they have to cause chaos. They have to be in your face. They're blowing up your phone. They're pulling up. They're causing arguments to make it about them. The moment that you make something about yourself or pull away for just a second, for whatever reason, they find a way to cause chaos. It's almost like it's instinctual, like they literally can't help themselves. And by them, I mean children. They literally can't help but make your life as the parent all about them. As it should be. But give me something. Let me have a couple moments. It went from zero to 60 in a matter of five minutes. It's so frustrating when those moments happen. It is so, because then my emotions, like I'm on 10 because I'm having to control all of these little people emotions. I can't say what I really want to say, which if I'm gonna keep it a buck, I really just be wanting to curse them out. Like what the f is y'all problem? <laughs> like that's really what I want to say, but I can't say that. So I have to hold all that and I have to bottle all that up, all the emotions that I'm feeling and try to neutralize the situation. And it's just like, it wasn't like this five minutes ago. I'm gonna feed them and calm myself down. I'm gonna make me a cup of coffee and then we'll try this again. Okay. Good, you can um, take off your bed if you're all done. So finish the food. Zara, you can take off your bed. So baby Jordan broke out into a rash. But other than the rash, he was fine all day, having fun, doing his thing. Now you don't have to break your neck trying to eat your foods. Okay, so he slept all night. Like I passed out. I was trying to watch another episode of Love is Blind. I'm on season six. I'm finishing season five and I jumped ahead to season six. Season six is so good. Out the gate, honey. We ain't even left the pods yet. Only one couple is engaged thus far, but she is, baby, I'm hooked. I texted my sister-in-law last night and was like, are we watching season six? Because literally this is the first time he slept all night in about two weeks because he had the ear infection he was battling with. He got shots, probably three weeks. He got um, immunizations, you know, at his um, checkup. He had the ear infection, so he was on antibiotics that were upsetting his stomach. The ear infection was bothering him. Then he got this virus. Like it's literally been one thing after the other. We found out he had an allergic reaction and it's probably allergic to peanuts. So like it's been one thing after the other with Jordan for like almost the past month. So the parents have not been sleeping. I don't think I slept at all in the month of May except for our anniversary because we were at a hotel. On the agenda today, because the doctor said like, let me back up. The doctor said that once the hives, breakouts, whatever you want to call it happen, then the virus is, it just, it's done. I think his body was done fighting the virus about a day or two ago because he wasn't running a fever. I noticed his appetite came back. Um, he was eating, but Sunday, he was eating, eating. Like, he, he ate two chicken drumsticks by himself. So like, Sunday he was throwing down and I was like, okay, he's starting to feel better. Like, for real, for real. So, take your kids to the doctor because there's something going around, targeting the three and under crowd. Take your babies to the doctor. So, um, on today's agenda, we are going to the library. Um, 
It is family story time and the bubble party. They only do this a couple times a month. I think we're gonna stay out a little bit. Not too, too long because I do need to come back and cook dinner. And I have a Pilates class with my homegirl tonight at eight. Everybody wants to do Pilates with me. Uh, I'm not saying that in like a like a conceited kind of way, but like people always ask me like, where do you do Pilates? When do you go? I wanna come, yada, yada, yada. Those classes are so hard to get into though. We finally coordinated, got on the same schedule, got in the same class. So we have Pilates tonight at eight. So I don't wanna be out too, too long because I do need to cook dinner. Um, I wanna make sure that the kids are, you know, straight and whatever. So that my husband can have a somewhat easy evening because he's working all day. So, um, and then I wanna leave here at like seven so that I can get my corner booth because somebody stole it the last time. Um, but yeah, so I have Pilates tonight. So we're not gonna be out long. Today should be fun. Today should be a fun, fun day. So, cheers to Wednesday. And I'll talk to y'all later. We didn't do any of the stuff that I said we were gonna do except go to this um, bubble party and the kids were acting weird the whole time. Like they didn't wanna socialize. So a little girl was waving at Zoe and was like trying to chase her, like playing with the bubbles. And she was like, she's trying to get me. It was so annoying. I was like, Zoe, she wants to be your friend. That's why she's playing with you. Like we're here to make friends. What's up? And they were all just like standing around me and touching me like they kept coming over to touch me. Like, y'all play. Dad, play. Not in my business. And I kept saying, guys, like, please go play. It's literally why we're here. But it was just like, I could have stayed home for all of this. Like, I really could have. And I was about to. We ended up leaving early and I was about to just go home because I'm like, but I didn't cook yesterday so there really isn't anything um, for the kids to eat. 
But yeah, there really um, isn't anything for the kids to eat. So I was like, let's just go grab something to eat. And on the way to grab something to eat, oh, I wanna go inside this cold so bad. I wanna try that Fenty, um, oh, it's right there. Decisions, decisions. I'ma just go. That's something I need to just do on my own time. Oh, I'm going to night. On my way to Pilates, this is Sephora. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll leave super early, stop by Sephora, period. Anyway, um, I want to try that Fenty Hydrovisor, I think is what it's called. Um, she has a skin tint that has the skincare in it, so it's part of Fenty Skin, actually. I've tried the blurring um, tint, I think is what it's called before. I like that. Um, but usually in the summertime, I don't do like a full face of foundation so like my NARS I usually like take a break from that and I just do skin tint in the summertime plus it has SPF 30 in it so like it's it's checking off all the boxes also I noticed like watching my vlogs back my foundation in certain lighting looks totally different from my skin tone now I'm way off topic but we're here now so I I know it has more of a yellowy undertone and my undertones are more red. So like I know this, the color is not the best match, but the way it be looking on camera is like, it's two different people. It's given the face don't match the neck. And that's not how it looks in person. I noticed that and I was like, mm, I'm playing myself right now on the camera. Cause I look like I don't know what I'm doing. I look like I don't know how to match. And I do know how to match, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I want to try that. So I've, I'm so glad that I just remembered that Fenty, that there's a Sephora literally like up the street from um, Pilates. So I'll just leave early and go there. Anyway, so we ended up going to Panera to grab a quick bite. It was actually not a bad meal. Um, they don't have a lot for baby Jordan, who he's a baby. So like he doesn't eat certain food. He loves chicken. So I ended up just getting like a little barbecue chicken sandwich and I gave him the chicken basically and I just ate barbecue bread. <laughs> like that's literally what I just ended up eating and the girl split a grilled cheese sandwich um, and it came with chips and juice. And so my goal is always like, if I can get us lunch for all four of us for $20, now with Jordan having this potential peanut allergy, I'm staying away from just peanuts and nuts all together. So that means no more Chick-fil-A because they use peanut oil. Of course, we were in the store, in the restaurant, and they were lit, like how they are in the back, singing, dancing, making loud noises, just all the things that I expected for them to do at the bubble party. Like, where was this energy at? Stay up, no sleeping. Like, where was this energy at the bubble party so it's raining now so we are done for the day it is 12 50 so it's right um it's nap time the girls are definitely sleepy which would explain the behavior that's the thing about these like kid events they need to be earlier because they're like right when nap time is about to start um and so it makes it challenging Cause like I could have just left and we would have went home and they probably would have taken a nap. Um, but it takes so much energy to get everybody together, including myself, that I'd be like, I don't want to go home. So anyway, we spent a couple hours outside. It's one o'clock. We've been out since 10. So yeah, mission accomplished. Uh, plus it's raining. It's time to go. So Jordan's asleep. I don't know what the twins are going to do. I would love it if they would go to sleep too, because they are talking fine. It did. Um, it stopped raining, guys. So yeah, I would love it if they would take a nap, raining. but I don't know. They're probably it gonna. Mm-hmm. They're probably gonna want to play with their new toys. Um, I just really want to just like sit still and not have to talk. I'm not even tired. It's just I don't want to do anything. I don't want to talk. I see baby, and it's see it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So yeah, I really just want to like sit still. I could honestly take like a 30 minute nap, but um, I don't have to. So we're just gonna go home. I need to fold the kids laundry. I probably need to wash some of my stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna see like what laundry I need to do. Um, I need to cook that chicken so that they can have some dinner while I'm gone. And then I'm more than likely going to leave between like 5.30 and 6. The thing is, I don't want to be in no stupid traffic. But the earlier I leave, 
leave, the more likely it is that I will be in traffic. We're on our way home. I'll talk to y'all later. So I am cooking some chicken breasts for the fam before I head out. So I figured I would just show y'all really quick because I know I always do like the vibey cooking, but I don't actually talk through what I use. And so if you care, just keep watching. So I got the setup. Um, so I've already butterflied the chicken breast. So it looks like this. And I am doing it one at a time. So the first seasoning I use is the um, Noor's, I think that's how you say it, Noor. Um, caldo de pollo, chicken bouillon. I love that they made it in this granulated um, formula. So it's not in the cubes. So, but it's it's salty, so you gotta be careful. Don't use too much. I got some paprika. Paprika. Even though they say that ain't real seasoning. Some ground pepper. And I just sprinkle a little bit on there. Like, I know how I like the chicken to look and it usually comes out tasting good. And then some um, onion powder. And honestly, that's like my staple. I use that same little mixture nine times out of ten i use my hands get up in there make sure it's all the way coated chicken breasts are easy to season they're also easy to over season um because there's like no bones no extra layers like a thigh like a bone and thigh you know so just make sure that it is evenly coated it smells good to me even raw Okay, so we got our pot, our pan, I mean. Yes, baby. Yes, I am, I'm your mommy. I'm just gonna put a little bit more oil. Mommy's just making some chicken for y'all. I got it on a very low heat because, okay, baby, so then don't eat it. I swear, here they go again talking to me while I'm doing something. Drop y'all a little bit. Drink some water, though. Um, I got it on a low heat because this stove really be stoving. Um, Y'all saw that video where I burnt <laughs> the chicken. And then I just lay it down. I am gonna turn it up to a four though. I have it on three. Um, it does not take long at all. And I probably am going to cover it um, to help speed up the process just a little bit. Plus I feel like I don't have to flip it as much. I get nervous about um, my chicken being cooked all the way through. Never had any issues with that, but I flip the chicken a lot just to make sure that it's like cooked all the way through. Plus I also don't, I'm working on the second piece now. Plus I also don't like pop it in the oven like some people do, the cooking shows, they'll do that. Um, I've never done that. I could, cause this pan could go in the oven, but I just cook it all on the stove. I don't be having time to do all them extra steps. So, I got two butterfly pieces in there. I don't time how long it sits in there. I just let it cook. I was, if I had to put a number on it, I would say like maybe six to seven minutes on each side. Um, maybe seven to eight minutes on each side. Um, and then let me show y'all what it ends up looking like once it is done. So this is what it looks like once it's done. The girls have been quiet this whole time, of course, because I'm talking, now they're talking. But this is what it looks like once it's done. Let's open up the middle and see. Don't embarrass me now, yeah. Miss Chicken Breath. Um, yeah, see? It's juicy. I actually might put that on for a few more minutes so that it's not chewy. But um, yeah, so. I'm a heavy seasoned girl. You can see that. It's like, it's seasoned, child. Like, I do not do bland chicken. It needs to be seasoned, okay? Period. So, looks good to me. And it tastes good, too. It is juicy, um, which is another thing with chicken breast. You don't want to overcook it because then it loses its juices. You don't want to undercook it because then somebody could die. So... I don't cook with chicken breast too often because it can be temperamental, but there you have it. I'ma go because here they go, being loud once again. Y'all, 
<laughs> if you didn't know, um, which you probably didn't, but I used to work in retail, right? And one of the places I worked at was Aldo. Shout out to Aldo for holding me down for like a good year, year and a half. And um, so the playlist that they had sent us, you know, because a lot of the stores, the music is just like downloaded. Um, and that's what they play in the stores. Well, our system was jacked up at the store that I ran and we were never getting like the downloads, right? So we just got the ox and we would make our own playlist um, of like trending music, good shopping music, just kind of whatever we wanted. Why am I in here jamming to my old Aldo? Thank you, sis. My old Aldo playlist um, and way too sexy with uh, Future and Drake came on. Child, it's a party. It's a time. Um, I wish y'all could listen to it too, but you know I'll be recording on my phone anyway. Um, yeah, you know my playlist was lit. Um, whenever I was running the store, I was actually the manager. But um, when Beyonce drops Renaissance Act One, oh. We played that hoe. It was on repeat. Yes. And people literally were coming in the store and they were like, is this a Beyonce album? I was like, yep. Shop and you can listen to the whole thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a good time up in there. Um, so yeah, anyway, I am literally driving through all the streets of Atlanta. I think I'm in Bankhead right now um, because the highway is dumb. It is disgusting. Oh, this says Riverside. So, yeah, whatever that is. Um, but I'm like on Bolton Road. So, yeah, I think it's, it's yeah. Anyway, the highways are disgusting. Like, when I put it in my GPS, like, I could have taken the highway and it probably would have taken me the same amount of time. But I would have been sitting there so although it's a shorter route it would have been the same amount of time so I said well let me take the streets then because I'm trying to drive I need my energy to stay up I'm excited because I get like a good three hours to myself it's 6 38 right now um uh, really like a good three and a half we 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 get a little time today and it's crazy because I prayed for this last night I was like Lord I just need a couple hours to myself because it's always loud it's always people talking and I just don't want that like I need a break from that rather and my homegirl did text me we are meeting up at the Pilates studio I'm excited because this is the first person to come and work out with me that looks like it's about to be a Chipotle I know a Chipotle building when I see one anyway so um yeah I'm gonna get there a little early so that I can pop into Sephora and see what this new Fenty skin is talking about I also want to try pattern um not try it but I've had it before it's the heavy conditioner um I may or may not get that though. I'm not like pressed for that. Um, I want to try everything in Sephora. So I'm going to have to restrain myself. And I only have, by the time I get there, I'm only going to have like 45 minutes, which is good because I need to get matched. So however long that takes, that'll leave me with whatever time. I need a new translucent powder. Need that. And I want to try this, the, um, slick salve whatever it's called um the topicals um why can't i think it's not a lip oil y'all know what i'm trying to say <sighs> but i want to try that as well the girlies raves about it um, I use a lip oil from e.l.f. right now and it's nothing wrong with it, but I don't really wear a lot of makeup as you can see um, Throughout the week because I'm usually just with the kids and going to the library Not that you can't get dressed up for the library, but I usually don't have time for that. So I want to get like Light makeup that's gonna give me that no makeup makeup look um, But there are certain things that I could just like get from Target I don't have to get in Sephora, but some things like Fenty is exclusive to Sephora and Ulta. So I definitely want to see like what Riri got going on. I just watched on Instagram that she's about to drop Fenty hair, which I'm excited about because not anytime soon, but in the near future, I do plan on trying just like different hair products. Now that my fro is going out again, I think I said this in the last vlog, definitely want to try um, Sacred. I um, want to try the full pattern line because I've tried the deep conditioner, loved it. So I want to try like the full line. 
Um, now, Fenty's about to drop Fenty hair, so I'll want to try that at some point. So, I'm excited that I'm growing my hair back out because the girlies. Thank you, sis. The girlies are dropping products. Like, we love that for us. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to go on Sephora. The last time I went, I had the kids. I was not able to really enjoy Sephora how I used to back in the day. Try stuff. Enjoy the vibes. Like, all of that. So, I'm happy that I am alone. Because I can actually enjoy it this time. They are building these neighborhoods up, honey. And that's another reason why I wanted to take the streets. Because I like the scenic route. Where you actually get to see things. Um, the highway is the highway. We all know what that looks like. But I love driving through the city sometimes like actually through it and I knew it would be much less traffic like we've been cruising this entire time so um yeah but anyway I'm gonna get back to my jams I do plan on vlogging in Sephora I don't know how much I'm gonna get because I do want to get matched um hopefully they'll let me vlog that um so yeah I'll see y'all at Sephora <laughs> I'm gonna go with number five. Got the red undertones. I was torn between four and five. Four is a little bit gold, more golden. And my undertones are more red. I think six might be too dark for me. Let's see. Here goes five. You can't even see it. Six. I might be hitting. Oh. I had made up my mind. Now six is hitting. And there was only one five left, so I took that as a sign. Oh, it might be six. Because it's tinsel, I could honestly go with either one. Five might be a little too light. And six matches my red undertones. I low key want to do my whole face. Child, we completely switched gears in there. So the skin tint, I wasn't really feeling like it's too much of a tint and not enough foundation, but I get it. It's it's more skincare than foundation. So I was like, nah, I still need a little something until I can get my skin like really popping. And then I found in the soft lit, which is what um, Riri's newest, um, foundation. I found a color that worked perfect. It gave me that nice like summer glow, but they didn't have it. They didn't have the shade. So then I completely switched gears and went with Makeup by Mario. Now I had to rush because I really did not want to be late to this class. Um, even though I'm right around the corner from um, the place. But I was just like, I don't even want to chance it and end up being late or like not, you know, I just, I don't like being late to the Pilates class. I like to get in there, get my mind right, and then do my thug fizzle. So, I ended up getting makeup by Mario. I have so much makeup on my face. Like, I know you can't tell. Maybe you can. Yeah, you kind of can, because right here, right here. But yeah, like, I tried it everywhere. Like, on my cheeks, on my um, jawline, on my hands. Like, I have foundation everywhere. Oh, I just realized I didn't bring a towel and I'll be in here sweating, Cheryl. But anyway, um, so we're going to try Makeup by Mario. Of course, because it's Sephora, I can return it, exchange it, whatever. So if it does not work for me, this nigga is running for his life. If it does not work for me, then that is exactly what we're going to do. But anyway, let's go get our Pilates on, hottie. Baby, I don't know how you parent. And I know we're not supposed to be doing this as parents, but the tablets be saving lives, okay? I'm trying to get myself together so that we can make it to this library um, for the stay and play. And I need the people to sit down. I need everybody, I need cheeks and feet. So thank God for the tablets. Anyway, good morning. I am getting myself together. Today is Thursday, May 
Oh, May. Thursday, June 6th. Baby, where am I at? I know I didn't talk to you guys after Pilates last night, so I just wanted to check in, let y'all know what we got going on today. Pilates was great. We had such a good time. Like, one of the things I love about being a mother is that when you get around other moms, you immediately, instantly have something to talk about, and that is motherhood. Always like see each other kind of in passing. We always like roll with the same crowd, like in groups and stuff for probably like the last decade, to be honest, probably longer than that. Um, but never really like one-on-one -on -one type situation. Like it was always in a group for somebody's birthday party, celebrating a wedding or whatever, church, stuff like that. So to like kick it with her one-on-one -on -one was really nice. And like, as soon as we saw each other met up, like we just started talking and we were talking about the kids and working out and our postpartum journey and just all of that. And then after um, class was over, we talked for like another 10 minutes and I was just like, yes, like, let's keep this going let's keep linking up with the kids without the kids like let's just we're moms you know what i'm saying and we have that in common we've got young kids we're both young you know like we need that group we need that community we need each other and so i just i love that for us the class was really 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 good it was a different instructor because it was an evening class um y'all know i usually go in the mornings um this instructor though um i've done her class one time because she did like a fill-in one random day so I liked her a lot like I love her energy she jumps right into the workout she's hands-on so like she was like you know telling me to like what's what's it called tuck my pelvis in so that I was using more of my abs and like she helped me to like adjust and correct and I immediately felt the difference in the particular workout that we were doing and I love that. You know what I'm saying? Like the instructor that I go to in the mornings, I love her too. It's great for like early morning because her voice is very soothing. She eases you. It's like a natural progression. Um, you do a lot of stretching in the beginning and like really warming your body up. And then you get into like the core of the workout and then you stretch again on the way out with this instructor because this was an evening class. She just jumped right in and was like, we said we wanted to do arms and abs. She was like, bet, like, let's get into it. And that's exactly what we did. So, yeah, I I am definitely, like, addicted. I am obsessed. I am obsessed with Pilates. Like, what can I say? I think I'm going to go start going two days a week now. Y'all know I'm trying to increase my workout days. So, I'm like, if I do two Pilates classes a week and then do weights three days a week, that's literally five days out the week. Like, who am I? Who is this girl? She's a gym girly, that's who she is. She's a mom trying to get to baddie status. She's trying to get to MILF status, period. Like I'm, I'm seeing the results and I love that. I absolutely love that. Like it's taken some time for me to fully commit to working out on a consistent basis. Last year was really rough because I put a lot of pressure on myself to just like get in the gym and, and the moms be on social media, they be 10 days postpartum, stomach flat, Da, 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 da. They be wearing their old clothes. They be outside. Like, you got to get back in there. And then I was like, mm -mm. slow it down, sis. Their story is not your story, okay? You just had a baby. You're breastfeeding. You got toddler twins. <laughs> like, slow down. And so that's exactly what I did um, the year that Jordan was born. And I said, I'm not going to work out. I'm not going to pressure myself to work out. I'm going to focus on taking care of this baby and my twins and getting my body just back to not being pregnant. <laughs> like you be pregnant for nine months and then expect after one month to just jump right back into what it was before. And it's like, no, nah, it don't work like that. So I gave myself pretty much a year off, uh, off. So 2024, I was ready. Let's get into it. And so here we are now. So I'm very excited, very excited. So anyway, the fast forward to today, we're about to go to the library. It's stay and play at the library. Hopefully it is not a bus like yesterday was. Low key, the kids, high key, they were getting on my nerves because they did not want to play. They didn't want to interact with people. I said all of this yesterday, which is another reason why having time to myself was so nice because I got to get away from these people that be confusing me sometimes. Cause it's like, what do y'all want? Like I brought you here, we got snacks, the vibes are right. It's friends here. Why are y'all not playing? I need to get my Sephora stuff out the car. I definitely hit it in the car last night because my husband did not know that I went to Sephora. <laughs> so 
closet. So we're just gonna leave this bag right here. Hopefully it wasn't too, too hot last night uh, and melted my makeup. But yeah, let's, we gotta get ready, we gotta go. <laughs> Excuse me. Zoe, how did you get that on you? Seven. Good job. Okay, mommy's gonna help you count seven because seven's a big number. One, two, three. Come on, count. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. There you go. Oh, one. Where's one? Good job. Good job, sweetie. Yep, okay. What's next? Ten. Excellent. Where's ten? Right here. Yes, it is. Good job. Put it in there. I don't know, baby. You gotta look for it. Nope. There we go. What number is that? What number is this? Nope. Look at it again. What? No. Nope. Look at it. Very good. Yes, yes. Good job. Go ahead, pick up the next piece, baby. We're not done. You still got two more pieces. They're right. See it? Yeah. Five. Nope. Where does five go? One. There we go. Five is the bigger A. Just like that. Apple. One more. Apple. That little piece. No. Ah, ah is for apple. Very good. This one's still. This one. Look. What number is this? Good job. It's going here. Yep. Nine, Mama, eight, nine, me. ten. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Flip it upside. Flip it the other way, baby. Um, try the other foot. Let's try this foot. There you go. Now you got one more right there. You did it. Yeah. So stay and play was much more successful. I look crazy. Um, much, much more successful. We got there early, so we were the first, one of the first kids, families in there. Um, we made new friends, everybody played really good. We were in there for about an hour, and then, yeah, go ahead, say hi. Hi. Wave. <laughs> say hi, friends. Hi, <laughs> um, and then when I could tell, like, the kids were starting to get hungry because they were getting, like, whiny and, like, starting not to share, I was like, all right time ago so um y'all already know what we about to do we going to my mother's <laughs> i'm going to chipotle and i'm going to my mother's it's the usual um the sun is supposed to come out it stopped raining so i was like well we'll see i know the grounds will be wet but maybe we can get a little bit of outdoor time um we're already out so let's just keep the party going same old same child so i'm probably not gonna vlog while we're there we're just gonna just be and enjoy the time with my mom i will talk to y'all say bye guys what's up y'all we are in the closet oh yeah much better oh my god um i didn't want nothing i just figured i'd call y'all and say what's up um i'm showered in my jammies you know me a good old sleep shirt my fave and um the kids are all asleep it was a little rough putting them down but they're asleep now um i'm clearly tired as you can tell i don't even know why oh um i did want to let y'all know that i tried the makeup by mario foundation and it is surreal skin foundation for real. Um, it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. I definitely thought it was going to be like um, more full coverage. Um, it is more like the consistency is a little bit thinner. The Fenty, I think, was giving me more full coverage. Like the Pro Filter. Which I wasn't a fan of that one before, but maybe I need to circle the block on her. Um, cause it was definitely giving me like full coverage. I go back and forth between wanting full coverage and like, um, a lighter, more fresh face beat. So anyway, 
the Makeup by Mario Surreal Foundation, I think it's called. Let me make sure. Um, it matched me perfectly. What is this called? Surreal Skin Foundation. I got 18W. Makeup by Mario. Matched me. I mean, perfect. Like, blended in perfectly. I did two applications on my cheek and it looks like real skin meaning you can still kind of see a little bit of like my actual skin <clears throat> but it's just like smoother a little less pores you know like it's not a blurring effect but it it just looks smoother like the um what's the filter we all use on instagram is it paris yeah so I'm going to try it on a full face, you know, obviously, and with my powder and all of that stuff and see how it wears. Um, and yeah, so I like that. Um, for tomorrow, I think I'm just going to stay home. Now I say that now, but if the kids wake up and they lit, we going outside. I'm over here stalking these Pilates classes like a like I'm stalking them like a crazy person. I'm really like loving Pilates and want to get in there twice a week. So I'm like consistently on the site. Like, did anything open up? Did anything open up? Did anything open up? And mind you, this is for next week because I can't go this weekend. Like I'm done for this week. So I'm like stalking for next week's classes because I have two specific classes that I want to get into. One of them I've already booked. The other one I'm waiting for somebody to vacate. Like get out the way. Get out the way so I can get in this class. <laughs> but yeah, it's 10 o'clock. I'm going to go to sleep because I'm tired and I just want to make sure I get a decent amount of sleep in case Jordan does wake up, even though he seems so much better. Like his body is cooler. Your boy been hot pretty much every night. And now I'm realizing like he's been going through it, like for real. He's probably had like low gray fevers for a while now because I always just thought his body ran hot. And so we wouldn't put like the blanket on him and he'd be under the fan and stuff. But now like he's he still sleeps under the fan because he's like me. We like the fan. Um but I have him under a blanket and he's still like nice and cool, like a regular temp. So my poor baby, he just was going through it. Probably just from the teething, the shots, the fever that he had for who knows how long, the allergic reactions that he was having to the almond milk for who knows how long. Like I feel so bad for this guy um, because who knows how long he's been like suffering and couldn't express it. And the way that it was coming out was at night when he wasn't sleeping. But now he seems to be like really relaxed and really sleeping. So anyway, um, I'm going to go to bed because I'm just rambling. And I guess I just wanted to talk to y'all for a hot second. But yeah, I'm tired. So I'm going to go watch a vlog. I was watching Miss Jamima. Shout out to you if you're watching. Even though I know you're probably not. Because who am I? <laughs> but I'm watching Miss Jamima's vlog. Um, and I think I'm about to call it a night. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. Have a good night. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey guys, happy Saturday. The squad is outside. My hair is washed. The girl's hair is like styled. Um, it's a beautiful day. So happy Saturday. So we're on our way to the library um, for story time and stay and play. It's just about an hour, hour and a half. And then we're gonna drop the kids off at my parents' house. And then my husband and I are going to the gym for a little bay fitness. Um, we haven't worked out together in like years, literally because we obviously have the tots. No, I'm lying. It's probably been like a year because we used to take them to the daycare at LA Fitness and, you know, try to get it in. But anyway, I'm very excited um, to work out with my husband and just have another workout partner. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, he can see my progress um, because we've been putting in work. Okay. But yeah, so we're just 
having a nice family day. My husband's actually going to come to story time with us, which I was surprised. I thought he was just going to like drop us off, but he's coming too. So yeah, we're about to head out. So I'll talk to y'all. Guys, later. would you like donuts for breakfast? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. After story time. After story time. Go ahead. Return their old books. Wait to Mrs. Watson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it still tastes terrible. Chuck tried mustard. Instead. Perfect! You guys will taste great with donuts.